our pregnant cat that we've been feeding decided it was time to look for a place to give birth to her kittens. So she came in our front porch here and we set up a little area in here. Hi, kitty. And there is one brand new little kitty in there. Hi, little kitty. Hello, mama. Yeah, there's the little kitten down there. <laughs> what a good mama. So that's very exciting today. Hi, mama. Oh, she's licking them. So we've got three kittens so far. And looks, hopefully that's it. Looks like a black one, a tabby like the mother. And I'm not sure what the other one looks like, but she's taking really good care of them. Okay, I'll let you be. Yeah, so three so far. Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. Today I'm going to be working on... I don't know. I've got nothing planned. Yesterday I did the big repot on my ficus benjamina, my franken ficus. It went quite well, I think. The trees in the greenhouse here. And so far, it's looking good. So I was looking around to see if there's any other ficus I need repotted, and I don't see any. I've... Uh, Pretty well caught up on my repotting. Maybe my uh, ficus plane could be repotted. That might be coming up. My dwarf Schaeflera here will also get repotted this summer. I'm just letting the new growth kind of harden off a bit. You can see it's starting to turn from kind of a the new yellowy color to a darker green. Once that's kind of, uh, you know, darkens up a bit, I'll repot this tree. I think for today, I'm going to look around on the benches and find a lot of small projects and get those done. I think we'll begin over here at my Natal ficus. It's growing really well, at least half of it. So here it is over here. So you can see this section of the tree is really vigorous. Long extensions on the new growth. This other side is less vigorous. You can see the shoots are weaker. They're kind of a yellowy color. And that is because, I'll show you around the back here. Here I am around the back of the tree. And if we come in here, you can see the big cut that was made on this side of the tree. And then this weaker growth here is our new shoots that it grew in. And they don't have the same amount of flow, you know, sap going to them so it's definitely a weaker part of the tree it will recover it, it'll thicken up and you know heal that wound there and then it'll get proper sap flow but for now it's the weaker side of the tree so i want to match the vigor of the stronger part to the weaker side so trimming it back otherwise what could happen is all the vigor will go into this side of the tree and this side could you know, eventually get weak, shaded out, and die off. So I don't want that happening. I want to keep my growth balanced on the tree. So let's get it over onto the table and begin the pruning work. I'll start the work today by giving the tree a good watering. I noticed it's a little dry. That'll do it. I'll place the tree on my spinning tree bonsai turntable and we'll get started. My inspiration for the styling of this tree is a picture of a giant Natal ficus growing in Africa in the savanna and it has a huge umbrella canopy on it. The only difference between that tree and some of the ones growing in the tropics is there's no aerial roots on them, and I don't want aerial roots on this tree either. All right, here I go. So I'm looking at the front of the tree. I have a new shoot growing here. I have to decide, do I want a shoot growing here? 
At the present moment, the trunk comes up and it divides from one into three. There's one out the back here, and there's this one, and then there's this one which divides quickly into two. So my gut feeling is I don't need another branch developing out here from this spot. Otherwise, this will thicken up here, and I'll get inverse taper, and it'll look a bit funny. So that one's going to come off like that. So that cleans that up. Now there's a branch hanging down here. I don't want any cascading branches at the moment. I want everything to go upright, upright, and then towards the edges of the canopy, then they'll start to kind of droop under the weight of the branches. So that will come later, these kind of drooping branches, once the canopy is developed. But for now, I don't want these branches hanging down. I want to develop all that upright structure first. So they're coming off that one and this one like that so there's the front of the tree now up here you can see some aerial roots so this tree isn't in the greenhouse it's just growing outside of my bench and yet it's still growing aerial roots these natal ficus will grow aerial roots under almost all conditions they're amazing trees if you ever want to grow a ficus with aerial roots get one of these natal ficus and you'll get aerial roots growing really easily so I don't want aerial roots on this tree at all so they're coming off too which is usually the opposite of what I do but this is going to be a different style ficus the African style so the aerial roots are gone now out of here coming up the trunk I've got two new shoots here I've got to decide do I want to keep those I would say my answer is no. I already have structure up here. I don't want to develop a branch out here underneath this one. So that's going to come off, both of those. Like that, cleaning that up. So now you can see it's looking more upright. Now next I have a branch coming out the front here which is also kind of drooping and it's coming out straight towards the front of the tree. I've got to decide if I want to shorten it or to remove it entirely. And I think I want to remove it entirely because it's kind of growing back in towards the center of the tree. Hopefully something else will grow in a better position. So I'm going to take that off totally like that. So there's the front of the tree now. So now on this, this weaker side of the tree, I have some beautiful branches growing here, but there's one here that kind of grows across this back branch. I don't think I need that. I'm going to keep part of the branch. So there's a leaf growing in a good direction here, so I'll prune just beyond that. Hopefully redirecting that branch out in this direction. There's a couple back here that aren't a good direction. They're growing from this branch directly towards the other branch. So they are both going to, going to be pruned out totally. So there's the one, and there's another one back here. So keeping my better branches and getting rid of the rest. And this one comes off here too. Like that. So now you can see the branch structure out here is much nicer. Now, on this one, I have a new shoot here. If you look at the this trunk line, it comes up. There's a leader here, and I've got two branches coming out here. And I don't... I don't think I need either, though, either of them. This one's too horizontal. This one... I don't think it'll look good, this branch coming up and dividing into two here. I've got some nice divisions up higher, so I'm going to take those right out. Like that. This will help with this flow going from down here up into the apex. I might clean that up a bit too. 
it's a little little bumpy in this area there so I've cleaned that cut up so it'll heal a little more flush so let's have a look at the front now Here I've got, the branches are fanning out and I've got one kind of coming towards the inside. It doesn't look bad. But I don't think I want it. I want something from the canopy growing in, filling this area out. I don't want these branches growing back in. So I'm going to prune that off. Like that. I have the same thing here. I have this trunk line comes up. I've got two branches fanning out and one on the inside. I'm going to prune that away. Like that. So I think that now has this side of the tree pruned up. It's looking quite nice. So let's, let's start on this side of the tree. So out front here, I have another branch kind of crossing in front of the trunk, not really fanning out very well. So I think I've got to prune it back. I've also got quite a long straight section here. So if I can shorten this straight section, I will. So I've got a leaf in the bottom here and a shoot coming up the top, so I'm going to prune it just in front of that. So here I go. Like that. That shortens that straight section. Just clean up an aerial root here. Right here. I'm going to shorten this, this vertical part here. Um, I'm just going to take the tip off. don't want it to shoot up too much. I want something to grow out in this direction. Okay. So now off of... This trunk line comes up, divides into two. Off of this section, I've got two branches, two parallel branches at the back here. If you can see them in here. One here and one here. Um... I'm going to want to keep one of them and remove the other. This one is a nice branch. The other one has been pruned here and it's got this vertical part coming on it. So it's a little more awkward looking and I think it divides a little too close to this junction. So I think I'm better to keep the branch out here. So I'll remove this branch in the middle. So I'm going to rough cut it off at first. So here I go like that and you can see how that branch was coming out and then it just grew straight up. Bit of an awkward branch. So from the front it looks the same. It didn't really change the styling of the tree much. So off of this branch I have one sticking straight up. I'll get rid of that. There's another one here going straight up. I'll get rid of that. Just a little shoot. And then I've got to prune back this giant long straight section here. So I'm picking a spot. I've got I think I've got to come right back to here. So here I go. Done. So pruning that great big long straight section off. Shortening that branch. Looks much better. Above here, I have another shoot coming off here that's getting very long. I'm looking for a branch that's fanning out. So I'm going to come right back. There's a leaf here, right back to here. Like that. So something will grow out in this direction. 
opens up a lot of light to these branches, which is good. I have a long one coming out the back here. Um, I'll just prune off the stub here. And then I gotta pick a point to prune it. And I think it's going to be here. Shortening that. Here at this point, I've got a junction. I've got one, two, three branches. So I'm going to keep my thicker one here, which is already developing. Take this one off from the inside here, like that. And then the one at the back can come off too because it's it's going directly over this back branch. It's not a good direction. So that one's coming off, like that. So that's cleaned up this area of this tree, of the branch. I've got one coming up the middle here. I've got to look at that. I kind of like the vertical one here. The one out the back I can shorten as a branch, so I will do that. I'm going to shorten it um, to here. Here I go. So that's come off. That's come off. And then the vertical leader, I think, you know, it kind of goes off this direction. I've got to shorten it to get a bit of movement in it. So, I think to here. Like that. That should be good. Now the only other branch I have coming off of here is there's one growing here and it's going directly towards this branch. It's on the inside. It's under the shadow of the branch above it. So that's a new shoot coming right off. Like that. So there's the front of the tree now. So now I've got to deal with this back branch. So let me look at it from the front. Quite nice. So it's, you know, ideally it wants to grow between these two upright trunks here. So. I've got a shoot sticking straight up here, a new shoot. I don't need it. I've got a thicker branch off to the side here, so that one's coming out. So at this junction, I have one, two, three branches growing from one spot, so I've got to pick my best two. And I think it's going to be the upright one here, the leader, taking out this little skinny middle one, so that's coming off like that. Then I've got to shorten these branches. The one on the inside here, if you see it here, it's kind of crossing. It'll grow right in front of this other branch, so it's coming right off. Cleaning that area out. This branch here, it doesn't like flow upwards. It, it comes off this upright trunk at 90 degrees and then it droops. You know, if it was up like this, maybe I'd keep it. Let me see. I think it's it's too confusing. If you look from the front, it, it clutters this area up. I think I want my branching to start a little higher. So I'm going to take that right out. Like that. So you can see this back branch is kind of looking better. So I'm going to shorten this horizontal one. I uh, think I'm going to go to here, like that. And then the vertical one, I don't want it any taller than my kind of apex here. So I've got to shorten it. I'm going to go back to here. So right to here, so off it comes. Let me have a look at it now. There's the front. So I think that's good. I You notice I've left the weak side of the tree basically unpruned except structurally. All these shoots are left to extend and gain vigor. 
this side of the tree got kind of pruned hard so it should balance the vigor in the tree so hopefully by the end of summer it'll kind of all be growing equally with equal vigor and it should look quite nice I think I noticed there's some moss forming on the surface of my soil here and it just started there naturally and I was saying with this tree that it looked kind of funny the red pot the red soil it was too much red so I'm going to plant some of that moss I picked off my uh, ficus yesterday put it on the surface of the soil and then it'll slowly spread over the summer here's a look at how much I pruned off the tree quite a bit you know some branches that you could take some good cuttings with and there's the tree so you can see it from kind of above getting that nice canopy and it is forming a, a really good canopy I think it's going to look very nice in the far future all right, I'll start planting some clumps of moss on the surface of the soil here. Here's a look at the tree now with the clumps of moss on the soil. You can also see some aerial roots that are growing out of the soil into the air. Yeah, they grow aerial roots really easily, these trees. So yeah, that's it for my Natal ficus pruned back. Just got to work on, you know, getting more and more branching and good branching, not just any branching, but branching that flows nicely and will eventually develop the basis for a giant umbrella canopy on here. I'm really looking forward to seeing that someday. The next tree I'll be working on is my mulberry tree. My mulberry tree just started growing in the backyard. I looked down and I saw this little seedling on the ground and I thought, I wonder what kind of tree that is and I looked at it and I said oh it's a mulberry I'll dig it up and I gave it an initial quite a root prune uh, taking almost all the roots off I planted it it recovered this is its second year now and I've already done some pruning on the structure of it to get kind of a nice shape to it and today I think it's time to prune it back again and these shoots are getting quite long I'm going to bring it back in select which branches I want to keep I noticed some areas there's like three branches growing from one spot so I've got to do a little thinning also all right I'm going to begin the pruning now so let's have a look I'm going to start with these tall shoots that are sticking up I'll prune them back to some leaves that are fanning outwards so everything kind of flows outwards from the center of the tree so this one I think I'm going to take it back to here like that maybe even a little lower yeah a little lower to here really cutting it back the one shooting off to the side here I'm gonna come right back to here this one here, to here so I've got all the new shoots shortened now so now I can look at the structure and start pruning that all right let's have a look so here I've got a major the trunk comes up and there's a major division here where it divides from one to two and then around that division I have two new shoots this one here and the one here that have grown in I don't want four shoots growing out from one spot so the new ones are going to come off and I'll keep the older one so that one's off and this one's coming off like that so now you can see from this view it comes up and divides into two here not one to four this little uh, a branch here is fine it, it can be another trunk it's lower down so it divides here and then I have another division up here that'll look really good I'm a big fan of trunks that come up have a trunk coming off and then comes up and then divides into two I think it looks really natural so eventually you get three three kind of major branches developing a low one coming up and the two up here and it always looks really good and you see a lot of trees in nature with that kind of branch structure so again up here I've got a division I've got it coming up and then it divides into from one into one two three four five six six branches in one area there so I've got to thin that out so anything growing towards the inside of the tree is going to be removed so I have one here that can be removed it doesn't 
flow outwards, it kind of cuts back in. So that one's coming out first. And there's a little one beside it that'll also take off. So there. And I'm going to have to clean that, clean that cut up. Getting rid of the stump. Like that. Let's move a leaf there. So now you can see the basic structure. I think it's looking quite nice. I know it looks like a stick in a pot, but it's got some shape to it. When this subdivides and grows in, you'll eventually see a nice, uh, a nice tree emerge in the future. Yeah. So I'll also give this a water and then put it back on the bench. All right, here I go with the water. The next plant I'll be working on is my nightshade vine. It survived the attack by those buffalo hopper nymphs. Uh, it's recovered and it started to flower again, but I pinched all the flowers off it. I didn't want it flowering because I wanted the tree to recover from the insect attack to get it nice and strong. And then later on, I'll let it flower. I'm going to start the work today by pruning off all these suckers from the roots. So I've got my curved scissors. I'll just come in and prune all those back. Because they'll zap vigor out of the main tree too. Okay, I'm going to brush away the moss at the base of the tree too. It's kind of obscuring the root base. All right, I'm also going to prune the tree down today so it's getting a little tall. Here I go. So I'm just going to shorten everything. You can see, you know, these long shoots come up. I've got leaves that are fanning outwards, so I'm going to prune just above the leaves that fan outwards. So to here, taking the top off. I got a little bit of dieback after that insect attack, which is too bad, but what can you do? Um, so I'll prune this one back to I'll go to here um, like that just cleaning up the structure a bit a few stumps I can clean up here another one here and here just to clean it up you know in case my nightshade <laughs> Vine ever goes in a show someday. I'm hoping I can put it in a show someday. I think it'd be pretty cool. Just notice a little bit of liverwort here I'm going to pick out. Don't need that. Okay. I think that's got the soil surface cleaned up a bit. All right, I'll clean up here and we'll take a final look at my nightshade bonsai. All right, I'll rotate the tree around so you can see it from all angles. So here's the front coming around to the right-hand side, coming to the back, to the left-hand side and coming back around to the front. I'll give it a watering and put it back in the greenhouse. There. The last tree I'll be working on today is my Royal Oaks or English Oaks. They're getting quite tall, growing really well this summer, and it's time to give them a pruning. The last time I pruned these trees, I removed all the lower branches so I could have a nice clean trunk line and then my branches starting up higher because I wanted to grow these into a sort of a medium to a large size tree eventually. So I don't want branches coming off the lower trunk line. So today I'm going to continue that. I've got a lot of suckers that have grown in at the base here that I'm going to prune away. So here I go. So that's got that tree cleaned up at the base. Now this one has one sucker down here. So that's gone. I've got some lower branches that have developed since I last pruned them. 
Um. I've got no branches from down low here to way up here. Um. I'm wondering, is that too much trunk before I start growing the canopy? It's quite a bit. But you have to picture the, you know, this trunk thick. Well, maybe that thickness. That height. And then branching. So it'd make quite a large tree in the end. I'll probably keep the one lower branch. Like on my, uh, my mulberry, I'll have the one lower branch that comes up into the canopy. And then the other branching starting up at this height. So... All these little suckers down here, these new ones, I'll prune them away. So here I go. There's those ones gone. The ones here can go, and the one on the inside can go. So I'm just just have this one branch now. And then I start my branching up here. So I don't need I want to grow kind of a broom style canopy. So I don't want a single leader going very tall here and straight. I want to start developing these branches to form my broom style canopy. So I'm going to prune this leader back is what I'm getting at. And where, well, it kind of, if this is the front of the tree, it kind of, it's slanting off. So I might want to grow it a little more vertical. Maybe more out the front. Uh, I think I'm going to go here. I'm going to prune it here. That gives me lots of... There's lots of leaves in this area and buds, so I can then grow my canopy pretty well any direction I want. So It's coming off right here. Here I go. Big cut. So that's looking better already. It's kind of got the tree a little more compact. So I'm just looking at the branch structure now. It looks quite nice. Everything's kind of flowing out. I think I'm going to leave this for now and develop these branches. And then when it loses its leaves in fall, I can come in and select the branches and prune it up then. For now, I just wanted to get rid of that big leader and the suckers growing up on the trunk. So this one, uh, this one was going to be a smaller tree, so I started the branching down here, shorter. So again, I'm just going to take the tip off to here. And then I've got a really strong branch going here. I'll reduce that back too, like that. And maybe the tip off this one. And that's all. I think that's it for the pruning on the Royal Oaks. I'll also give my Royal Oaks a watering. These trees are growing in a 3D printed pot that's available on Thingiverse for free. You can download it and print out your own pot. I'm okay. I'm very happy with the okay. I'm very happy with the Royal Oaks. The leaf size is nice. I've got lots planted that are growing in the greenhouse. Let's go look at those as an update. Okay, into the poly house on this beautiful day. Perfect temperature, sunny, quiet out. I just love it. So in here is where all the royal oaks are and I keep them in here. If I leave them out on the benches, the squirrels will get into them. So here they, here's two of these uh, pond baskets with royal oaks in. So they're doing really, really nicely. I gave a bunch away because I have a lot on the go and that's why I grew a lot is to give them away. So here in the seed tray, I've got a lot. Some are growing really tall, some are a little shorter, but they're doing quite well. So that's the update on all the Royal Oak seedlings. Here's Kitty with... <laughs> you got your tongue hanging out with all her kittens. And there is six of them. She maxed out. <laughs> and they're all trying to feed. So we've got a black and white... Kind of a gray one. Well, wow, that one really took a tumble there. You you take care of your kittens now. Yeah, there's there's a mixed uh, variety in there, but six total. And you look very happy. You look very content. Hey, eh? 
<laughs> how white that one is, or is that just the belly? Yeah. Oh my goodness, you have a lot of you have a lot of cats. I'm just gonna take a picture for Alina. Yeah. Okay, that's the update. We now have <laughs> six kittens and one mama cat. So this is the first time she's ever been in the house too. She never came in at all until she was looking for a place to have her kittens. And she seems very happy in the porch here. Yeah. Okay, you take care of those kittens. It was nice to get some of the smaller pruning jobs done. And that's all for today. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone. <laughs>